Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to download and set up the Replay mod. The Replay mod is a mod for Minecraft which allows you to record, replay, and share your gaming experience. It's relatively easy to use, but it's an incredibly powerful tool, so if you have any questions on how to use basic features, make sure to check the link in the description as we've done a video on that. It's important to note as well that the Replay mod is a client-side only mod, it only needs to be installed on your own PC to work. To download the replay mod, you need to head to this link, it'll be in the description. Then all you have to do is press the download now button. That'll take you to a page with a list of all the versions you can get. Up until 1.12.2, you would need Forge to set up this mod, but after that version you require Fabric. I'm going to be downloading the latest version, so I'll be pressing download on 1.19.3. That should shortly begin the download, and it won't take too long to finish. When it's done, you'll want to drag it to your desktop so it's easier to follow the next few steps. Since we downloaded the latest version mod, we're going to have to download Fabric as well. To do that, you'll have to go to this page, the link will be in the description. Then all you have to do is press the download for Windows button if you're on Windows. If you're on Mac, then make sure to click the button below that. It should take 2 seconds for that file to download, so when it's done, just double click it. When this window opens up, simply select the version you want to download Fabric for. Make sure that this version matches the version of the mod you downloaded so no issues occur. I'll be selecting the version 1.19.3. Create profile should be ticked and everything else should stay the same, but when that's done, press install. Shortly, this pop-up will appear signaling that the download is finished. It'll also say that many mods require you to put Fabric API into the mods folder, but for the replay mod this isn't required, so you don't have to worry about that. Now that we've installed Fabric, we can make sure it's working correctly by opening up the Minecraft launcher. Then you'll know it's running smoothly if the launcher with the version you selected appears on the bottom left. For me, it appears correctly, so now we're free to move on to the next step. Now that you've downloaded the mod and installed Fabric, you'll need to drag the mod into the correct folders on your client. For this, all you have to do is press the Windows key and the R key at the same time on your keyboard. That'll open this small window. All you have to do is type percentage, app data percentage and press enter. That'll open a files explorer window. All you have to do is find the .minecraft folder and open it up and then find the mods folder. If you don't see a mods folder, you can just create a new folder and name it mods as it'll work the same. Once it's in that folder though, all you have to do is drag in the replay mod file you downloaded just before. And that's it, the replay mod is now downloaded on your client. To make sure everything's working as intended, then you can open up your Minecraft game once again. In the bottom left, make sure that the version selected is still the version of the mod you downloaded. I know I'm safe to press play because it says Fabric 1.19.3 and that's the version I downloaded. When the game's launched, you'll know that the mod is working if you see the replay viewer button in here. That's why you'll be able to see the recordings you've made in the future. To make a recording, all you have to do is head into single player, make sure that the recordings button is ticked at the top and head into a world. When you're in your world and want to record, just open the pause menu up and press start recording. To stop recording, you'll just have to press stop recording. Then when you leave your world, the replay recording will automatically save. You'll see it over on the replay viewer tab as explained earlier. On the Replay Viewer tab, you can also edit and render these videos by adding a few time keyframes and position keyframes. When you're done, you can export the video you made. For example, I added some keyframes and made this. It's super simple. Don't worry though, if this all looks a little bit confusing for you, we've made a separate video on how to use the Replay mod. There we show you how to render the videos as well, so we'll leave a link for that in the description. Moreover, if you log onto a server of your choosing, it also works the same as you can see. You don't need to install it on servers themselves. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any more questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching.